guys, it's little Tybee, and today we'll be continue playing Vranvo. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. And I'm pretty sure this is the last chapter. What? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you have finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. It did. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilt one, more, one right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why are you, Why am I chained up to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are united, untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, Little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were select to suffer, to cry and hide. But the dark darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His clothes are so tiny and soft. I hope he's fine, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layer reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room, in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dear Dern said, said that everything's in my head. <gasps> and the wind took all the magic dust away. Oh. Hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed, and no, I'm not sick. But you're a chain. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chain. Do you, can you unlock me? Whoa, you are myself? You really are. You think so? Then, this means that I managed to, the, to enter the Ultra Reality. Did you meet Edward already? I always talk about that. Yes, I met... Kitty! <laughs> yes, I met him already. But I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. 
they? Who are they? All the creatures that you could see, the black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we could see those, these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and you could tell me then why we see the things you do. Oh, what about if I, what about if I tell, help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we could talk. Good idea! I also find need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blamed him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's a difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Let's see, which key? Aha, unlocked. Thank you so much, friend. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think we would it will help you to open something. Palantras? You know him too? Wow, thank you! Yes, he also told me that if we meet, you will be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me! Oh, no. I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. No! Don't go, little Fran! We have stuff to talk about! That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse! She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody could take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Is that my eye? Hello. <laughs> what a big eye. What are you looking at? Obviously you, dummy. Key to unlock things that are locked. You're so dumb. But it's okay. Intruder, inflamator, why would you enter without per presenting yourself? I am. Okola, the eye from beyond, behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that your own, you own a cat? Are you a royal, queen, princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him! It's my friend! Mr. Menard, I have to go and find him! But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my house. You are brave and I spread bravery very much. 
Thank you, Akula. I'm friend, by the way. I'll see you around. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reforced. It would be hard to get the key without permission. Reforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. And who are you, if I might ask? Well, I'm Fran. <laughs> nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Rubuto. Rebu Welcome to Mabak Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't. Leave now. Just leave. But, Rubuto, sir, I have been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Oh, don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. The darkness, the darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the re fifth reality? I thought Remora was the king here. Ah, Remora, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I have said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Uh. Ah, you're so mean. Why would you do that? Jesus. Shiny little key, come here. I wonder what this, what door it goes to. Lucky kitty, it's you! But it's black. Mm. So much. <laughs> Amazing, the E clock. Eek, eek, clock. <laughs> ah, be aware of Mabuka. The awakening darkness rise from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer my answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or bean? Beans? My pills look like red beans. Oh yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five rims of essential extents to be the keeper of the key. 
The Five Rims of Essential Existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The Keeper of the Key? Who told you this? The Great Volokas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. But you were too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something abs absurd happen to you? I think Rama killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am from. I'm all of those feelings, friend Bo. I'm all the sinister, all the darkness you could imagine. I free from the tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if we might kill my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason. If that makes you feel better, now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, keeper of key. Be brave now. I'll be opening my heart for that for you. Okay, thank you. Jammin. My line. Do I know? Oh, do I know you from somewhere? I'm looking something for me. Don't you, thief? Where is my knitting ne needle, huh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needles are you the? Dead nurse I saw back in the Oliver of Aslam? Aslam? Whatever. Do I look dead to you? Ugh, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just need to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Give me seven. Let's take a number. I hope I get a good one. It's a freaking number. Ugh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Ugh. I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it, won't, it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Total hopeless. Ugh, excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That'll be faster. And, be, and by doing that, you could also help us all. But why would you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My our eyes is blind. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be pa patient. Neither can I. I've been. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know. What illness I have, that's why I'm here. Hmm, but can you tell me? But how can you know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question, make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Here, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, uh, it's impossible to talk since you are with any of you. Of course you can make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, that's true, but it'll be very nice to use some common sense. Why? What does this common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to 
to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with other common sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the difference. Hmm. But who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. If it's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking about won't make the way go faster. Huh? All right. Thank you for nothing. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature you who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low level of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. <laughs> yes, crying all the tears you could cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better than Kitty when Kitty and I go home. But now everything's so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I was, I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my question. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we could go back to the rest and be happy. Aww. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. Thank you. The bottle is now full of your tear. Give it to the creator that has your ticket. Now go. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? Haha, <laughs> how lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I help you. All right, all right. There you go. Hey. In. Thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we could do to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky enough. Minnie lost her mind instead. Huh? Lucky? But how do I get an appointment then? Ah, just call me. Here's my car with the telephone number. Oh my god. But why must I call you? You can't... Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly. Because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ugh. Alright, I'll go and make the call then. to make an appointment? Hmm, it's friend Bo. Uh-huh, I'm available now. No, no, um, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. 
I'll see you in a minute then. Great. Great. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Bye. Yes. Fran Vo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the achieves. Yes, there you are. The doctor will show you it. We'll see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Hello. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Yes, yes, witty nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Oh, you're not the doctor? You haven't chose to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself, probably. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing you suffer, drooping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desire. I could use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. You have, haven't you learned that human receptions are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. It can't be! Stop it! I didn't do it! I didn't! It wasn't me! Stop it! Please! Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Parents, I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Are you alright? Kitty? Answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr? Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Athresta, my darling. Palestras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tell her, tear us apart again. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dern, alright? He seems to be in trouble. <clears throat> Maybe this will help him wake up. Ah! Ah! What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Fran! Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bow, sir, from the Osworth Asylum? You were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? 
Why am I tied up to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. You, we must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Ugh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Did you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know who her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mom and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key. Oh, the key? Hmm. Did you know what my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Verma did a great job. His power of manipulation is ex. Extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I know with Ramar all the time, but why does he hurt me? Rama is the manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful magnification of your fears. But... Why would you why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were infirmering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connecting to growth and strength, Fran. Os Oswin, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mean at me, mad at me. We're family. Let's go, let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Don't drop it. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we would want to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wanted, wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No! No! No, kitty! Come on, Fran. Stop whimping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! Ugh, I hate you! Stop it, Fran. Help! Help! Please, help! Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. <sighs> oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I, knew, I need to extract the brain right away. 
friend? Are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. It's been 11 years. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Okay, that makes sense. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. It's word! <laughs> oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who? Who are you? I'm Itchward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Ectopro, ectoprot, palmetres, mancas. <gasps> ah! Gorska, Itchward, I found him. Oh my goodness! Stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. <gasps> Kitty! You're alive! Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you could use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, my mother, Marborka, you took the innocent of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk toward light. You must go now. Go, all right? Go. Dr. Dern, look. This is er Itward and Paletras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he is under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can I come with but can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is take him make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this has really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he is safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desire. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you, Palentras. Aw. Now, let's send Dr. Dern home. Messel dun onom vekum sediska etko. Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things, but one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. Well, that's the end of Fran Bow. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want more, and comment down below on what game I should play next.